Not what I expected. We find out about a surprising food scene, get lost in the natural beauty of the city. But I'm on top of the opera house right now. Learn about an ancient fortress. This is where they put all the naughty people. And have some interesting encounters. Is this a trick? Like what is going on? Buckle up because our 48 hours starts now. I made it to Oslo. Is this mic on? I'm so excited. I'm just at the airport, got my bags all ready. I have no idea what to expect. I just like Googled 10 minutes ago how to get to the hostel that I'm staying in tonight. It's gonna be quite the adventure. Okay, it's not that bad. This is my bed. I need to go get my linens and make it myself. Squeak test for 40 euros. Take that for what it is or leave it for what it is. I'm here in Oslo. <laughs> Bathroom, lights, okay. Looks clean, weird. I have literally traveled the world, stayed in hundreds of hostels because I travel on a budget so I can travel for longer. And never in my life have I seen an oven in a hostel dorm room. I mean, come on. What is this? Is this just Norway? This is freaking cool. Weird. Okay, I need to get this situation sorted out. <laughs> This place is alive, wow. And it's so warm. The air is so fresh. People are happy, smiling. Everybody seems super relaxed. And the sun is out and still so high in the sky. Oh, yeah, it's so warm, oh my gosh. And it's so practical as well. For example, I'm on top of the opera house right now. So why not build a building where people can actually use it functionally, not just what's inside, but also just walking up. Okay, we're in the opera house. It's so beautiful and I feel like I need to whisper. Nothing less than magnificent. Oh, and look at this view. Any smells that I do smell, it's either food or saunas. I promised myself that if I successfully climbed the highest peak in Norway, then I would try out one of these floating saunas. Spoiler alert, I wasn't able to. You'll see why in the coming videos. So I just came out of the opera house. And I saw a man sitting down with a camera like mine, talking to the camera. So I just ended up having a chat with him and uh, he also has a YouTube channel and he asked, what is time? He's like, I'm not sure if people would find that question interesting. And I said, I think people would, especially if you have curious people watching, you know? If I asked you that question, what is time? What is life? Or what is adventure? How would you respond? Deep? Too deep? Or just perfect? Let me know, <laughs> I'm curious now. Good morning from Oslo, Norway. Still can't believe I'm here. I'm kind of hoping that I can just wander around and see if I can find some cool shit, just like I did in Stockholm. I am going to try and paint <laughs> one of these. I went for a nice little morning run this morning. It was lovely. So now I'm ready to explore. As you might guess, this will be my first coffee in Norway. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's got a cool flavor. And I think the beautiful views also help quite a bit. Definitely give it a three out of five. Mm. There are about 50 to 60 people on my right hand side enjoying their food and it's super quiet. I'm not used to 
enjoying some sort of beverage or something and then it being so peaceful. So this is my first time like using a public toilet. First thing I noticed is that my feet could barely touch the ground. Like I'm not that short, but come on. You gotta be that tall to have toilets that high. Oh, I was giggling so much. Anyways, onwards. I got my little shot of caffeine, so I'm ready for the day now. Let's go. <laughs> On my one side, a massive cruise ship. On the other side, a wicked fortress. Looks like you can go inside. Should we go in? Yeah, why not? We're in. Not what I expected. Here we are. We're in Akershush Fortress. I'm probably butchering the name. I don't know how to pronounce anything in Norwegian. I actually I learned something yesterday. Nishtekt. I think that means pastry. Because <laughs> I had a coffee and a pastry to keep me going until dinner time. Seriously though, Akershus Fortress was built in the 13th century and has since worn many hats from military stronghold to royal residence for the king. It fought off Swedish attempts at seizing the city. This is where they put all the naughty people. <laughs> it became a prison known as Death's Waiting Room in World War II. And now, it's a museum with great views. This looks like the main square of the fortress. I was actually super duper curious because on some of the walls I noticed that there are numbers. On this one you see 1638. And I was kind of like, huh, could this have something to do with a clock or something? And I just went in and I asked and they told me that's actually when this part or this wing was built. So apparently if you walk throughout the fortress and you see these numbers, it's kind of like he said, it's a little bit of a cheat sheet when you're doing a guided tour that you can know which time period each section is from because they've had to reconstruct it obviously, but there you go. And you never know if you don't ask, right? Matt Holland Oslo, one of the many food halls that they have here. And it's incredible because there's over 30 different types of food that you can choose from. And when I was looking for which food hall to come to, the thing that caught my eye was that they had Norwegian food and that they have sour beer somewhere. So I went for something that I feel like could be Norwegian. <laughs> I'm not really sure. It's a fish burger. It smells so good. It looks really fresh. Mmm. It's got a lot of flavors. And wow, that onion like kicks you in the face. <laughs> so it's 139 krona, which is like 12, 13 euros. It's definitely worth it, and it's so good. Not a moment of truth. Some local beer. Mm, super refreshing. Not very hoppy. I'm not a very hoppy person anyway. I'm very happy, but not hoppy. Oh God. Sorry, right, everybody. This will probably be my first and last beer in Norway. This is uh, 11 euro. But hey, the vibe's cool. It's cool to watch people. <laughs> I love people watching. This is so funny. I literally ran to this area this morning, not knowing like what cool stuff was around. Okay, come on, do you see what I see? Fruity notes taste like real fresh coffee. And you know it's a real coffee shop, specialty coffee, because they give you a glass of water to go with it. 
<laughs> so that coffee shop is called Tim Wendelbo. You might be noticing in this vlog that there's a lot of coffee and food experiences. Well, that's because apparently Oslo is like a big foodie scene. And fun fact, Norway ranks number two in the world of the most coffee drank per person. I was actually shocked when I found that out, but that kind of explains why there's such a huge coffee culture here. Now, I bet you, you won't be able to guess who number one is, because I had to know the list after I heard that Norway was second. I'll give you a second. Finland, which is also interesting because they are the happiest country in the world. Are these two things correlated? I don't know. Probably not, but possibly. And if you continue looking at the list, you'll see that the top 10, except for Canada, are all the richest countries in Europe. Super weird. Are these things correlated? Again, I don't know. This would be a really cool research study to do. <laughs> There's not a lot of things as a tourist that I can do in like a very short amount of time. Like sure, I could go on a fjord cruise. I could go like do a hike outside the city. Like those are the kinds of things that would interest me, but I don't have a lot of time, you know? I'll let you in a little secret. I've actually been here for more than 48 hours. It's been like a total of four days total in Oslo. Of course, I don't film all of it because, I mean, I do need breaks as well. Sometimes I'm just so tired and just to go out on a fjord cruise just to film, it's like, to me, it's not worth it. If I was to recommend a fjord cruise to anybody, I would say choose one near Bergen instead. But I did do something amazing that I haven't done in, I feel like years, actually. I just went to a bookstore and I got three books. 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, Psychology of Money, The Subtle Art of Not Giving. And anyways, I just passed a bookstore and it said three for two for English books. And I was like, hell yeah, this is an investment. Legit, never a dull moment. I was just walking on the right hand side of the street. A lady, she said something to me in Norwegian. And I was like, sorry, English only. And then she said, excuse me, other side, please. And I kind of like looked at her and I was like, is this a trick? Like, what is going on? And then I did cross the street and I can see that she was basically helping me because on the one side of the street, there's a bunch of people doing a bunch of shenanigans. When I say shenanigans, I'm sure you can figure out what I mean by that, but never a dull moment, is it? Crossing the street now. Next stop. 